Jim, we did talk to some nurses tonight. They want everyone out there to know that this surge is real. Here in Delaware County, they are feeling the pinch. Some of my colleagues who work in the ER are saying that they're seeing a lot more cases. Chelsea Rabina is an ICU nurse at Einstein Medical Center in Philly, but she's well aware of what's going on in nearby counties. Not only is Philadelphia seeing its highest number of cases since the start of the outbreak, but so is Delaware County. I'm already starting to hear that some of the other hospitals in the surrounding areas have started opening up those other ICU areas. I have been hearing as well that other hospitals are on divert. Um, I believe several of the other hospitals have been on, on divert this week. In Delaware County, we're told some hospitals are now seeing longer wait times in the emergency room. County officials tell NBC 10 some have diverted patients to other facilities, and the surge is taking its toll on first responders and essential health care workers. Mainline Health says it's seeing an increase in cases in its facilities as well, and some had been on divert earlier this week. It's gearing up to have enough staff for the surge. It wasn't any you know, things were really wary the last couple months, and now we're starting to see it, and it does just give me a little anxiety about going back to where we were before. Rabina says her ICU is already starting to take in overflow COVID patients from other ICUs at Einstein. The state's Nurses Association also tells us some Philly hospitals are now turning units into larger full COVID floors, like in the spring. So right now, it's clear, it's obvious that everyone, all of these hospitals are getting ready, getting prepared for this surge. As for Delaware County, we should hear more about their plan tomorrow. For now, we're live in Drexel Hill. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. Things changing by the minute. Thanks, Aaron.